Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you all had a blessed week. Um, so I'm back with the news that from the ENT appointment, I have got eustachian tube dysfunction. So we were absolutely spot on. Um, they've given me a disgusting nasal rinse. Mm -mm -mm, and they've also given me a steroid nasal spray. And I'm seeming to be getting a little bit better now. It's kind of coming in waves rather than just being this constant vertigo dizziness. Um, so hopefully well on the way to recovery now. Also just want to thank you all for your love and support for me and my little boy growing inside my tummy. Um, just want to thank you all because I know there's been loads of comments and I've had loads of emails and loads of um you know loads of support and love from you all so just want to thank you for that please don't panic that when i give birth that i'm just going to vanish off into the sunset i am still going to be around and um, i'm probably gonna i'm recording some public readings for you so that when i am off you've got those to come out each week and then i'm still going to be giving you an update each week to let you know how i'm doing um if you haven't found me on instagram it's mystic love tarot i have got facebook as well don't use that one as much. Um, but if you want to find my personal Instagram as well, you can follow the pregnancy and the updates on there. That's just Ali Marie eighty six. Okay, so uh, it's it's private, but you can you can send me a friend request. I don't reply to messages on my private one. Um, Never have done, never will do. <laughs> Email's the best way to get a hold of me. Okay, so what we're going to do today is are you going to get together or are you going to get back together if you guys are in separation so two decks for you to pick from deck number one and deck number two think about you and the person uh, that you love the person of your deepest emotions my guide is saying and feel that energy from your heart feel those feelings that you have for them and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to so how that's working is we're working with the energy of all of you guys but it's pulling out the strongest mutual energy between you all okay so deck number one deck number two let's do this deck number one so are you and your person going to get together or going to get back together have a big black. That was nice. Just got some acid coming up. How lovely. I'm so attractive at the moment, aren't I? <laughs> I've got ear tubes, eustachian tubes, dysfunction. I've got acid flying around. Uh, bumps definitely getting bigger. Think about your person for me. Your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's do, let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Right, we've got a teeny weeny block. Just hold that energy, hold that heart-based emotions for your person for me. Lovely. Okay, so what was happening there is your person was just, as a collective energy, there was just a little bit of a block in the way, which we can, we can bypass with spirit's help, okay? Um, but we're, we're in. Okay, so let's have a look. Will you and your person get together or get back together? Both. Get together. You and your person get together, back together. Okay, so I've got a song coming up um, with this and I can't remember who sings it. But it's a song that says, um, when you're back in my arms, we go back to the start. Will they get back together with their person or will they get together with the person? Both energies of the future. So even if this situation has come to a little bit of a close or it hasn't really gone the distance, it's really important that you guys know that these cards are cute, that you are at the back of their mind. So if we look at this kind of six of swords at the moment, so your person is kind of swimming away from the situation at this moment in time. You might find that they've gone a little bit distant with you, that they haven't really responded to you if you've been dropping them taxes or if you've broken up, you might be in this kind of period of no contact. So they're just taking a little bit of a step away from it at the moment however if you look at the very very i don't know if you can see because of the lighting being a bit dark in here still you've got this shadow at the back of the boat okay the wise boat lady that is you okay or, or man that is you um you are at the back of their mind okay you are there and uh, the the fact that it's a swan as well swan is um this very you know pure essence of a connection with someone and it always reminds me of one of my uh, my main goddesses bridget uh, she looks after the swans it's a beautiful peaceful connection and she is the goddess of hearth and home 
So this connection between the two of you, even though they might be swimming away from it at this point in time, the hearth, the home, the love is still there with you both. OK, the waters as well. It's really important to notice over here that the waters are really stable. So your emotions of you and your person are actually going to be stabilising over the connection between you both. Following on from that, there is a getting back together. We have the four of wands and we have the sun or getting together. We have a relationship blossoming, blooming. Uh, sometimes the four of wands obviously can be a wedding or a celebration. We also have the full, so a new beginning coming up. Brand new, spanking, spark, brand new, spanking, sparkly, new relationship, new connection or the rebonding of your connection from before, but going down a new pathway. OK, there's a need for this relationship to be protected. And Spirit are saying to me that this relationship is is safe. It is protected. You are being looked after. Um, it has been a bit dark. It has been a bit difficult for you both. But as we're going into that kind of the summer months between now and Lunasar, we have this very strong, positive energy coming up with you guys of the connection and the rebonding of it all or bonding as you if you're just talking about your person. The love the two of you share, it's there. And there is a getting back together. How far into the distance as your collective energy spirit are saying four months. Okay. Four months and you're back in each other's arms. How beautiful is that? Okay. Really, really positive. Your person, you might feel that they have distanced themselves or that they haven't, like I said, been giving you what you want at this point in time. The reason for that is because they're feeling quite heavily burdened by the situation. Why are they feeling so burdened by it? Okay, that's a bit contradictory, but we will go with it. They're feeling burdened by it because your person is can be can be a bit of a contradictory masterpiece on occasions, can't they? Um your person knows that this is what they want, okay? They know that they want to be with you. So this has actually kind of panicked them a little bit. And maybe situations have happened if you've broken up and, and it's got really difficult. Your person's just took a step away from it because they have these very strong emotions for you um, and they don't want to get hurt, all right? Uh, energy over here with the Ace of Swords is kind of cutting out the bullshit, but also equally at the same time, we have this helix of waving in and out of each other's lives. Okay, so coming together again, being burdened by it. And when we're asking why we're burdened by it, we're getting the six of wands to say that they want this relationship to work between the two of you. It's just that they, they're not very good at being vulnerable. So they might have felt a little bit vulnerable with the regard to the connection between you and them. So they cut it out. OK, took a step back, walked away or they've just gone quiet on you. If This is a new connection. It's what they want. It is what they want. Um, they are definitely still holding on to this situation with you, seeing you in a very strong female um, energy. Remember, with tarot, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated, but there's always a male and female energies when we're working with the cards. And this is a strong female energy coming forward, regardless of your gender or sexual orientation. So they are still holding on to the connection with you. You have this very, very passionate energy coming forward. Now it's very yellow. OK, so very uh, solar plexus energy coming up over here. Might have shook confidences a little bit, but they do see you in this very confident um, energy, this very strong, powerful energy. They know that they want to be with you. They know that they want to be with you. It's just that perhaps circumstances have dictated this situation to go the way it has. Um, and it's because they've got, they've got vulnerable. They're feeling vulnerable. They're feeling a little bit weak as such. They're scared. They're scared of letting their heart uh, do the talking. Because that vulnerability, they're, they're not used to being vulnerable. You know, they've always been such a strong person. Very, very strong, not had to count on anyone. So when they've fallen in love with you, which they have, it makes them feel vulnerable and it makes them feel a little bit weak. And so they kind of detach from it a little bit. Almost as if they detach from a part of themselves, Spirit is saying. So again, this very strong divine connection between the two of you. And like I said, even if they've wandered off and they've took a step back and they floated off and said, I'm going to float away from all, all this connection, you are still very much at the back of the mind and you are actually navigating the ship that they are on. So they are thinking that their mind is in control, that they are going to be calling the shots and saying, no, it's not going to be like this. But really on an energetic level, they can't pull away from the connection. The bond is too strong and you have got your victory that comes from that. Really, really positive cards over here. You couldn't ask for better ones. Uh, the Fool, the Sun and the Four of Wands. 
very very strong connection very strong love very strong bonding potential for children happening over here also marriage marriage and kids okay two cards of that and a new beginnings right in the middle future's bright the future's really really bright between the two of you so are you going to get together or are you going to get back together the answer is yes when spirit are saying about four months time as your collective energy if you want to look at individual timings just give me a shout okay guys and that is deck number one lots of goddess blessings your way take care ciao Okay guys, deck number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get, get can't get me words out. Can we get, get the collective energy of their people? And let's do their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So we're doing, are you going to get together or get back together? Okay, so depending on what your individual circumstances are. So let's go. Are they going to get back together or get together with their person? We will have both of them. They come together. Are they going to get together with their person? Okay, I'm sure this was an Elvis Presley song, but I can't remember because I don't really know Elvis Presley. And um, the one that says, take my hand, take my whole life long, uh, that's coming through my right ear for you guys. Uh, overall outcome, please. Are they gonna get together with the person? So, Uh, I've got a Green Day song as well. I'm sure it's Green Day. I walk this something road, the lonely, the something road that I have ever known. I'm sure that was Green Day. I walk alone. So don't take that as a, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please don't take it as that. It's your person is feeling quite alone with the situation at the moment. And you guys are as well. And that's why that song is coming up. This situation isn't easy. And the reason why it isn't easy is because your person is making it a bit more complicated and they are feeling a bit trapped and they don't want to get themselves into a connection where they feel stuck. Now, sometimes with you guys, there's probably physical situations happening around them. So it's like circumstances, like they might already be married or they might have had problems in the past um, where it's kind of making them feel a little bit stuck on their connection with you and how to move it forward. Um, so you've got the physical side of things over here. They actually do want to be with you, but their fears in the mind are kind of navigating the situation more so out and it's putting delays on it so if we're having a look over here will you get back together the first two kind of or will you get together the first two cards you got was the ace of cups and then you got the eight of swords so yes we have this energy of the two of you having the potential for a future but there's a storm okay and i don't know if you can see these very clearly um you've got a storm over the top of the ace of cups and we have this storm happening around the eight of swords now storms always show signs of bad weather okay bad weather indicating situations being very difficult very hard very complex however do know that after the rain always comes the rainbow and there is this great saying um, about the storm and not knowing whether you've ever come out of the storm but one thing's for certain you won't be the same person that went into the storm so even though it's a bit heavy and it's a bit dark around you guys at the moment what is happening is you are both growing from the connection there is this wanting to be together there is this love that the two of you share but there is this very strong stickiness and these kind of heavier energies around you both okay um, and this is burned, burdening the connection as well so we have very root chakra based energy, um, very kind of about security, stability, finances, logical side of things. Your person is acting more on logic than their emotions at the moment. They're acting more on a, on a root chakra basis than a heart chakra basis. So their energies aren't really that aligned with yours at the moment. Even though you both want the same things, your person has got their knickers in a right twist over the connection with you guys. And it's bothering them, okay? It's bothering them. So the reason why this situation is happening, as I said, is because you're going through this period of transformation between you both. You're both blossoming and growing with the connection. Um, it's just that, you know, sometimes in the darker times is when we turn on the light and this is when we start to see things um, in a different 
different perspective and so this is indicating kind of a very strong spiritual connection with you guys as well and um, as we all know the spiritual connection isn't about the destination it is more about the journey and we have got cards of journeying happening with you guys as well so you are on a longer term journey you are on the same sea you are wanting the same things but you are on slightly different boats at this point in time and it's almost as if you're kind of dragging your boats out into the deep sea, the deep, deep sea, rather than staying nice and safe in the harbour. You're dragging your boats out into the deep sea and getting swamped by all these emotions. And again, the thunderstorms kind of happening around you. Hasn't been a very, very easy time. And it's quite grey, quite a grey area because you don't know if you're coming or going or what is happening with regard to you and your person. So... Why is it happening? Why are these storms happening? Well, as I said, your person is feeling stuck. They're feeling quite trapped, um, trapped very much in the mind energy. Perhaps it is circumstances that are navigating this, but it is also their mind and their fears and their worries and their concerns and their confusion. Why is your person so confused? OK, they're confused over the situation because of things that have happened before. OK, so things that have happened in their life previously has meant that they have learned to distrust love. They don't trust love very much. So when they've met you and they've had this connection and they've had this bond, they are kind of premeditating in a sense that something isn't going to work. And it's going to go a little bit peak tongue. And you have these doubts and worries from your person coming up from that. And that is premeditating the storm. It's not about their emotions for you because they have very, very strong feelings for you. It's just that they are scared. They're frightened. And again, it kind of coming from stuff from the past. And that's why that they're almost as if they're thinking if we get close, if we get close again, or if we get close, it's not going to work out. I don't understand your person thinking, I don't understand how anyone can love me for who I am. And you have these issues of self-confidence. And again, coming back to a very root chakra energy, but also a solar plexus energy coming up over there, a murky yellow around the solar plexus. Their confidence has been... I'll say it's spirit said that the spirit said corrupted. Their confidence has been corrupted from things that have happened in their past. And that is their confidence with regard to love. Okay. So we've got these kind of energies flagging up over your person that we have this sense of confusion and we have this sense of feeling stuck. Now, on the flip side of this kind of heavier energy, your person does want a future. They do want to be in a relationship with. Um, yeah with you they do want to be in a relationship with you um but it's kind of at their speed and this is where your frustration is going to lie with your person it's like how long are you going to wait around for them to kind of get out of this stormy tides and start trusting in the process and trusting in you so we've got the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles over here and um, there could be potentially issues with children coming up with this as well which is another reason why they might be taking their time with it and we have your happy outcome over here. So we have movement. We have an offering that is more stable. And we have your celebration coming at the end of it. But we have to get out of these stormy tides and stormy weather. Let's have a look at how those, how will you clear the stormy weather? What will happen with their person to clean, clear this stormy tides? What will happen? So the alignment of energy will happen by both of you kind of taking your foot off the gas a little bit, uh, trying not to back them into a corner. They know what they want. They, you know what they know what you want from the connection, but they need a little bit of time from it all. They need time to process it and time to think it through. And we have an alignment of your energy. So if you're manifesting, uh, this is really going to work out for you. Um, if you're not manifesting and you want to manifest, drop me a message because we do do manifesting plans. You can also have a look on YouTube and have a look at how to manifest the relationship you want. Lots of videos on it. Lots and lots and lots. And I did a manifestation video when I very first started the channel. That's linked in all the public descriptions. So how is this situation going to change? It's going to change by taking the foot off the gas, relaxing a little bit with it. I know that's hard um, because you're emotionally invested. I know it's hard, but you've got this relaxed needing to relax over the connection. 
it's going to take time. It is going to take time, but it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, the potential of you guys getting back together is there. Are you going to get really frustrated in the waiting game? Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Um, because your person is kind of kicking up a bit of a storm over it all. You have this potential over here um, of things really working out with you guys. But how long are you going to put up with this storm? And that's kind of the question that you need to be thinking through. Is there a collector timing on your storm's ending? Uh, no, there isn't, I'm afraid to say. But if you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout. All my contact details are in the descriptions. And we can look at the timing being set around you and your situation. Your person does have very strong feelings for you. It's just at the moment, there is just this misalignment of your energy with your person. Misalignment. Potential, yeah, you can make it work. Are you going to get really frustrated in that process? That's that's what's going to come down to. Um, the biggest way for this to move forward is time, and I know that's I hate I hate having to say that with people, um, but sometimes time is kind of our biggest weapon and our biggest healer. And time coming up here with the connection means that you guys can process it and can work it forward. But your person does need that time um, to get out of their mind energy. And by relaxing over the situation, taking your foot off the gas with it, your person's going to want more to do with you. They're going to want to speak to you more. They're going to want to communicate with you more. And through that, they'll start chasing you more. And through that chasing is when you can move it into your favour. So it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all negative. It's not. Um, it's just going to take patience and perseverance for us home. Okay, and that is deck number two. All right, my lovelies, if you need me, just drop me a message. I will speak to you all soon. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao, babies.